Hey YouTube, it's Textpork on Bad, and today we're going to be taking a look at logo designing in Adobe Illustrator. So this is my first Illustrator tutorial, and for those of you who don't know what Adobe Illustrator is, or what it does, or even how it looks like, here we go. This is how it pretty much looks. And what it does is, its main concern is logo designing. That's what it's pretty much made for. It's made to make logos. So today we're going to be taking a look at a company called Video Orange. And yes, that's a fake company name. Yes, I made it up. And yes, I know I'm not too good at making up fake company names. But that's not the point. Let's say that Video Orange contacted you as a graphic designer asking you to make them a logo for their website. So the first thing you would do or you should do is take a look at their company website and take a look at, at their company, ask them a couple questions and find out what their company pretty much does and what their main concern is. So uh, once you find out more about the company and what they do, you want to keep all that information in mind when making the logo and integrate that or integrate, integrate as much information as you can uh, about the company into the logo itself. So uh, let's say Video Orange is a video sharing website, much like YouTube. And let's say that the orange part of their website, it's called Video Orange because their uh, website layout is based on the color orange. So that makes sense. Once you have all that information in your brain, you want to make sure to try and put as much of that information as you can onto the logo design. So here's a little logo design rundown for you guys. Get as much information as you can on the company. Uh, try and integrate as much information as you can of the company onto the logo itself. Make the logo design obvious to what the company does. Let's say someone that has no idea what that company is, has never heard of the company, looks at the logo design. You want to make sure that they could know what that company does. Uh, well, they can more or less know what the company does just by looking at the logo design. Now, I know this isn't easily accomplished and it is very hard to do and is not always accomplished in logo designs, but that's what you pretty much want to aim for when creating a logo design. So that's the second thing. Uh, the third thing you want to keep in mind is try and make the logo simple and clean. You don't want to make it, you don't want to overdo it and you obviously want the uh, the letters and the words of the company name to be clearly visible to the viewer. And with that being said, the last thing you want to keep in mind is to try and keep the colors of the logo design to a minimum. Uh, the reason being is because not only is this, is this logo going to be used on the web and on um, like websites and stuff that you see digitally, but it could also pre be printed on advertisements and stuff. And when it's printed, it's going to cost the company more money the more colors you use. The more, the more colors you use, the more money the company is going to get charged to print that certain thing. So keep in mind, you don't want to use too many colors because you don't want the company to go bankrupt every time they want to try and print something with their logo in there. So with that all um, with that all in mind, let's get started on the logo design. What you want to do first is go to window and make sure that your um, your layers window is open. So just click on that, or you could just click F7. So on the first layer, what I'm gonna do is select the text tool and type in video. And then let's create a new layer. Uh, it's this little button right here. And on the second layer, let's uh, select the text tool again and type in orange. And yes, I'm keeping the the first letter in orange lowercase uh, for a reason. What pretty much what logo designs consist of is typography or however you want to pronounce that typography, typography, and uh, it pretty much consists of typography and a, a logo image so that so you can know what the company represents. So again, typography and a logo image. Now what typography is, is pretty much um, uh, uh, putting words and letters in different, arranging them in different ways and pretty much making it look really cool. Now uh, you probably won't get it if I sit here explaining it to you, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm gonna highlight the words or the letters in orange and change the letters to obviously the color orange. And I'm gonna select the pointer tool and just click that and put it put the O in orange over the O in video. And there you go. That is typography. That's a form of typography. And that's how it looks. Uh, you could put it, you could arrange the letters in any way. Just make it look fancy, make it look cool, and just remember to make the letters be easily readable. You don't want to overdo it to the point that the person can't read the letters and won't understand what they say. So that's it for the letters. Um, we're done with the company name. Now what we want to do is create a little logo image. 
Now what I'm going to what I'm going to do is obviously create a little orange. So I'm going to create a new layer with this little button right here. And on that layer, I'm going to select the um, the ellipse tool and I'm going to hold shift and make a little circle. And this is going to be our orange. I'm going to click and drag that layer underneath the layer of the video. And then I'm going to align that orange on the V. So let's do that. And then what I'm going to do is select the eraser tool, uh, which is right here. And I'm going to erase this little part of the orange. So now it looks like it's pretty much attached to the side of the V. And that gives it a little cool look. And let's align that a little bit. And so that gives it a cool look. Now what I'm going to do to add to it is select the pen tool and just put the little tip of the orange. So to do this, I'm going to create a new layer and then just do a little triangle at the top to add the tip of the orange and maybe move that in a little bit. And there you go. That is our orange so far. I'm going to twist that a little bit. And there you go. That's our orange so far. Now, what I'm going to do to make it obvious that it's a video sharing website like YouTube is I'm going to add a little play button in the center of the orange. So play buttons are usually just triangles. So I'm going to select the pen tool again and just uh, make a new layer and then just put a triangle in the middle of the orange. And then I'm going to change the color of that triangle to black so you could see it. And then maybe make it a little bigger. And there you go. So now we have our company logo. It has video orange. Uh, the typography on this, it looks pretty nice. Uh, we have a little orange stuck to the V. And then we have the little play button. So it's obvious that it's a video sharing website. And there you go. That is our logo design. So have fun with this. Be creative. Um, I hope you guys could make your own cool looking logo designs. And that's it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.